All right, today we're going to go over setting up your VPN account with Viscosity. Viscosity is a Windows and Mac specific open VPN client. It is a paid open VPN client, but it also has a lot of features and a lot of people really like it. So I'm just going to show a quick walkthrough of how that works. Uh, you would download the Viscosity specific profiles and you can get those from your client area underneath the service. There's a little downloads button and click on that and that will show you and then there's a little specific profile for it. In this case it's already downloaded so we're going to do. Just go ahead and go to our downloads folder and we're going to open and extract this. Alright and that's going to be our profiles that we're going to import. These are all the profiles. Then the next thing that you would do is go download Viscosity. Uh, they do have a free trial for 30 days, so you can try it and see if you like it. If you don't like it, then you can use the OpenVPN client community version, uh, which we'll go over on another thing. Um, this is mostly for Mac people. They prefer this usually. Um, you can use the native Mac IPsec VPN client without having to pay for or use Viscosity. So that's also an option with our service. You don't have to use this, but some people really prefer using OpenVPN versus the Soft Ether or the IPsec LTTP. So anyway, so we're going to go ahead and download this VPN client. And in their case, it's going to be for Windows 10, so we're just going to grab that. It's quite small, it's quite efficient, and it's pretty cheap too. Uh, I believe it's like a lifetime thing for 14 bucks. so I mean, you really can't go wrong if you end up liking it. And then we're going to go ahead and install it. Walk through the little wizard here. And there we go. This also has an option to auto log in on sign in, and it also has some other ways where you can set custom settings. So that's why the pro we made profiles for each kind, so people can easily import them. Um, no. All right. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to see this little icon. If you drag it over here, then you can always keep an eyeball on whether it's you're signed in or not. So the easiest way to do this is to import connection from file. And then what you can do is browse to the folder. And you can say this folder. And then hopefully it grabs them all. But yes, there it goes. So that's a lot handier if you import from the folder that has the folders of the profiles. Because then you can see we got all of them imported in one go. So the next thing you'll have to do is just log into each one of them once with your username and passphrase, which it'll prompt you for. So there's a little option to save. Created a new temporary password for the sake of the tutorial. Uh, so this will not work after the tutorial for those of you that are watching thinking, mm, free account. Anyways, uh, so that'll be, and I'll give you your internal IP address. And then to check it, you can go to what's my IP address. And then you can check and it should change and there you have it that's how you can set up viscosity on windows very simple we have uh, specific profiles that you can just one click pretty much and import them all and then you log in into them each once with your password and you're good to go there's some other settings where you can have it start on login uh, you can change the icons you know depending on what you want it to look like and then they also have other stuff here. Uh, I believe that we already have it set up to drop all IP version 6 traffic. So it shouldn't leak IP version 6, but there is an option in this as well that you can set. And let me see here. This is the main one some people have started on login. And then if you wanted this to log in automatically with this specific profile, you can have this selected and have this selected. So it'll connect to automatic. Start the open. Viscosity OpenVPN when it logs in and also use this profile and reconnect. There's also little settings here that you can adjust and tweak as desired. And you can also push your own custom DNS servers and stuff like that if you wanted to. Um, we do push DNS servers, but for some reason Viscosity doesn't like to pick them up. So you can definitely set those in there manually if you want to use custom resolvers like Cloudflare or if you want to use like AdGuard or AdBlock ones. All right, that's pretty much all there is to Viscosity. That's pretty close to the same thing on Mac. I don't have a Mac to give you an example, but it's pretty much the same client. 
and works the same way on that so you can use those profiles for both Windows and Mac. If you have any questions, hit us up.